Hey everybody, I decided to do a second video here with some more uh, snacks from down here in uh, Chile. Um, we picked up a few things at a gas station and a grocery store today. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what else is out there in other parts of the world. Um, I had showed these to you guys uh, before. These are the like the Pringles knockoffs. But we found a double-sized container at the grocery store. Same chips, just much bigger. Disappointment was it's just two stacks side by side. A lot of wasted space in there. Um, the other thing that we had gotten uh, earlier are these Evercrisp. And they remind me of pretzel type french fries that are kind of crispy. So they're kind of doughy, but they're not soft. It's a kind of a unique texture. Um, they remind me of a lot of different things. You know, the, they're shaped like little pretzel sticks. They taste kind of like potato chips, um, but the texture is it's different, so they're they're kind of um, kind of addicting. You know the way that that salty stuff can be. Um, they also these are the regular ones. They make them in cheese flavor too, um, but we've been snacking on them in the car for uh, when we're driving back and forth um, since we got here. And then I got a couple of sweet uh, candies. Now when I'm looking at this. It's reversed, so bear with me. I know there's probably some way I can fix that, but I don't feel like messing with it tonight. Um, this looks like it's a marshmallow caramel um, kind of a combination here. So I know everybody likes the unboxing videos, so um, you can see it's got like rice crisps in the chocolate. Uh, it's, it's a chocolate covered marshmallow with the uh, rice crisps in the chocolate. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what you'd expect. The chocolate's a little on the creamy side, which I kind of like that. It reminds me of uh, some of the Easter egg solid chocolates that are in the uh, tinfoil color wrapping. Um, yeah, that texture on those, um, that's the closest thing I can come to it. But yeah, no, pretty good. I'll finish that later. Uh, and then the last thing I got here is this Rio Chuck. Um, and this is kind of like a, looks to be kind of like a cookie that's chocolate covered. So I'm kind of curious about what these are like here. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's uh, just one of those little like biscuit cookies and covered in chocolate. And it's milk chocolate. So. Yeah. Mm. It's a little bland, a little boring. I was hoping that I'm, I'm a little disappointed in those. Um, well, that might be something, you know, I don't know if they make them with the open cookie like that, uh, Dunkin' Coffee. I know some people do that. If you want something that's not quite so sweet, uh, maybe that might be something there. But... There you go. There's the, the second installment of snacks for this trip. I'm sure before the end of it, we'll probably do another one. Um, it's like I said, I, I love trying different things in different places that you can't get back home and just kind of uh, experiencing the what, what we got going on locally here. Um, I might even bring a few things back if I come across some really tasty treats 
I know when I was in Iceland, there was some chocolates that I brought back that um, I still have a little bit I'm working on. Um, but you guys have a good night, and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on.